So you're wondering whether your spouse's drinking behavior is getting out of control. If it is, I can understand why you might feel afraid. What I do know that whether or not um, he or she will meet the criterion for excessive drinking, the fact that you do feel afraid has a way of impacting a relationship. Many of the people that I have worked with um, express fear over not only uh, what the drinking does to the individual, but also what it does to the family. We know that the fears are very real. First of all, there may be an impact to physically to a person as well as socially to a person. We know that there are times where people are fearful for their spouse in terms of their integrity being compromised or even their, uh, their ability to perform their jobs at work or um, uh, other responsibilities and fulfilling those responsibilities. All those fears seem to be reasonable. When fear creeps into a relationship, what we know is that it has a way of entrapping a couple. Not only entrapping an individual, but it has a way of entrapping a couple. Because what happens is that when people feel afraid, they typically react. And when people react, it tends to spur on another fear. And it, it, it results in an endless cycle of fear and reacting. This becomes a tiresome cycle and many times couples get very fed up with this cycle of fear and reacting to the point where they get to the point where they just don't even want to care anymore and they get apathetic. And I hope that that's not where you're going. By the very nature that you are interested in this question is a sign to me that you're not apathetic but you are concerned. So here are some of my suggestions, and it really comes from um, moments of working with other couples that have dealt with the same issue. First of all, before you approach your spouse about their drinking behavior, be very clear on what your intent is. If you intend to change your spouse's drinking behavior by sharing your fears with, with them, unfortunately, what will happen is that they might feel controlled. Now, if your intent is to give your spouse an opportunity to care about your fear, as well as give them the opportunity to experience care from you, then your intent will be righteous and probably, most likely, be much better received in the end. When you share your fear around your spouse's drinking, hopefully this will be something that he or she would want to respond to in a caring way, and it may lead to them wanting to quit um, the excessive drinking. But sometimes this is not the case. Oftentimes there are some other things that might need to happen before a spouse is willing to take a a real look at what their drinking behavior is actually is and what it is doing to the family as well as to um, the person themselves. If that happens with you, I really want to suggest that you consider seeking outside help beyond what you can do on your own. First of all, access the Lord. It is highly important, it's very important that you do that because without God, you're, you're in it alone and that would be very sad and a very lonely place to be. Second, there are numerous organizations within our country, whether they're um, nationally known or just even out of the church, the local churches in your area. We, I believe that those services and those resources can be invaluable to somebody that is struggling with a spouse that is drinking. First of all, they can provide you with the support and the comfort that you might need during times where it feels like a crisis. Second of all, they can also provide a way uh, or a means of accountability for you to gather insight in ways in which you might even be contributing or making it easier for your spouse to drink. Now, there, there is no blame in that, but oftentimes, because spouses don't know what to do, um, they often will protect or um, provide an environment in which the drinking actually is easier for the drinking spouse. So when you do receive resources or help from the outside, I find it very beneficial. And for the couples that I have dealt with, it seems as if this can be pivotal in providing the change that, that is necessary within the family system.